Welcome back. Today's video will be covering DraftSite's welding symbols. This command portrays your lengthy welding information using a compact symbol format rather than written text. In doing so, DraftSite takes up the least amount of space to accurately display your individual requirements, such as weld type, size, joint configuration, and more. Upon selection, the welding symbols icon will expand an options window. This will prompt you to specify your symbol preferences. The drop-down menus each determine different aspects of your weld, including its display, symbol, finish, and contour type. You'll also have the option to insert your size and number, length and pitch, and angle and root. Likewise, the abbreviation drop-down menu lists specific welding types you can choose from. Or, you can manually insert your abbreviation by selecting the text option. Lastly, the field welds, all around, and stagger boxes indicate where your welding should take place. As always, press OK when you're satisfied with your entered information, and you'll be prompted to specify your start point, or where your welding point is located in your drawing. Then, you'll select an endpoint. This will determine the position and length of your leader attached to your welding symbol, and your detailed symbol will appear. If you want to adjust the size of your symbol, simply right-click and press Scale to adjust to your liking. I hope this post encourages you to insert welding symbols in your DraftSite designs. If you're looking to learn more, visit the blog page or visit DraftSite.com.